do you belong to the set people that got a Semuse H3 3D for Phantom version only and you maybe wanted to use this on a different copter and then you opened up the box, you saw this strange filter, the GCU was missing and you saw the manual and you realized, oh my gosh, this is really just working with a Phantom? Well, don't worry, you're not alone. This happened not just to you, but to a lot of other peoples, including myself. And I just wanted you to know there is a possibility to sort this out. So what I simply tried is, I connected the H3 3D gimbal to the H3 2D GCU. So this is the controller from the 2D gimbal. And I updated this to the last version. And I was very, very happy to find out that it works. It's not working 100% perfect, uh, there you hear in the background not an e-guitar but that are the motors firing on so they are a little bit too sensible, but uh, well I'm happy that it works out um, really very very nice as you can see it here. Um, I was doing this video on the roof on the house where I live so I couldn't shoot right into the city for this video with the copter, but um, you see here some unedited scenes. Um, slow movement and I was very very happy to find out that this works and the day after I went to the airfield and I was flying in a straight line uh, like 10 meters per second very very fast and even there it worked out very well so just to let me tell this again the 3D gimbal will work with the 2D GCU version 1 when you updated it uh, when you have updated it to the last software version uh, hopefully you have a CG, uh, GCU at home, then you can save the money, otherwise you will need to invest it to get the copter to run or to get the gimbal to run of course. But at least you know there is hope, you didn't waste your money and that is the most important thing. Alright, I thank you very much that you had the time to watch this video, come back soon, leave me a nice comment and bye bye.